Hi, and thank you for tuning in to Noir History. I'm Natasha, and in this episode, I'll be sharing what I've learned about Margaret Burroughs. Margaret Till was born in St. Rose, Louisiana on November 1st, 1915. By the age of five, she'd moved with her family to Chicago as part of the Great Migration. During her teens, Taylor attended Inglewood High School with her friend Gwendolyn Brooks. The pair joined the NAACP Youth Council and participated in protests against the lynching of black people in the South. Taylor enrolled at the Chicago Teachers College, where she earned teacher certificates in 1936 and 1939. In the 1940s, she attended the Arts Institute of Chicago, where she obtained bachelor's and master's degree in art education. Taylor married her first husband, the artist Bernard Goss, during this time. Unfortunately, they divorced in 1947 after eight years of marriage. Taylor spent 23 years teaching at Dusab High School. She also spent 10 years at Kennedy King College as a humanities professor, as well as time at Elmhurst College. Taylor worked for 30 plus years overall, providing underserved high school and college members of the Southside community with arts educations. As a young woman, Taylor formed friendships with several artists who would go on to become legends. In addition to her childhood friend Gwendolyn Brooks, Taylor crossed paths with Langston Hughes, Augusta Savage, and Elzer Kortor. Taylor had informal salons with these artists and others where they discussed plans for bringing art into their respective communities. These conversations gave way to Taylor working with the Works Progress Administration to form the Southside Community Art Center in Bronzeville. The center was established in 1940 and is still active today. Its purpose was to function as a space for Black artists to teach, learn, create, and display art while connecting with other artists and patrons. Taylor was also a key figure in establishing the Lake Meadows Art Fair, an annual gathering for Black artists that continues to this day. In addition to teaching students and creating space for the the arts, Taylor was also an artist in her own right. Taylor published the first of her many children's books in 1947. Her outlook as a children's book author was most prolific in the 1950s and 60s, but she was still publishing kids' books decades later. She also published several acclaimed volumes of poetry. Burroughs was a well-respected visual artist who was best known as a printmaker but also sculpted and painted. Both her written work and visual art primarily focused on the Black experience. Some of her work featured depictions of of black icons, but also scenes from everyday life on the South Side. Taylor married Charles Burroughs, a fellow poet who had founded the Associated Negro Press in 1949. As a result, Margaret Taylor is often referred to as some variation of Margaret Taylor Burroughs. Their marriage would last 45 years, ending with Charles' death in 1994. The couple traveled extensively during the 1950s and gathered pieces for their collection of objects. They decided to contribute to the civil rights movement by co-founding the Ebony Museum of Negro History and Art in 1961. It began as a display of their collection on the ground floor of their home. This small, informal museum was the start of what would become the DuSable Museum of African American History. Burroughs served as the museum's executive director from its inception until 1985 when she retired. She helped to grow and direct the DuSab to its current form as a Chicago institution that's affiliated with the Smithsonian and is spread across multiple buildings. Margaret Taylor Burroughs died on November 21, 2010 at the age of 95 in Chicago after a lifetime dedicated to teaching, creating, promoting, and archiving black art. During her life, Margaret Burroughs received many awards and multiple honorary doctorates in recognition of her achievements and contributions. Her works are still held in the collections of multiple major museums around America. Thanks for tuning in to Noir History. I publish a new Black History Fact profile every week, so subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes. And I'm hoping to finally create some downloadables, so keep an eye on the Media Noir website.